She should have said, hey, why don't we have a relationship? Can we be friends? But I want you to know, I would have rejected her friendship anyway, to be completely honest with you. If Robin approached me and wanted to be friends, I would have not been friends still, because I couldn't trust her. Yeah, I still consider Janelle my sister wife. It's super weird, I think. But it's just that we're not really just friends. Christine and I, especially when she first came into the family, I just did not get her. I thought she was a princess. I did. And she thought I was bossy. When I married Cody, I didn't really even know Janelle that much. Like, at first, I thought we were OK. So Christine and I have joked, are we still sister wives? We both say yes, even though it's not really the traditional sense of the word. This is also the back of it. Is that what this, that's what this is, too? Mm. Oh, weird, it comes oh, in. Now it's a hat. Oh, honey, it's so cute. <laughs> it's so weird to consider the whole sister wife word. But then I had to think about all the other people in the world that tell me, hey, I consider my best friend my sister wife. And I'm like, heck, if they consider their best friend their sister wife, I can consider Janelle my sister wife. I have an idea, so. My, I, you know, I live in a townhouse. Yeah. Well, my neighbor wants to move. And I just think it would be really great if you wanted to move in on the other half of my townhouse. If Savannah wasn't still finishing up school, I would be like, I think I would come. Yeah. Like, there's a billion thoughts going through my head right now. I'm attached here. I have a life here in Flagstaff. But part of me thinks it would be very fun to live next to Christine. I think we would have a lot of fun and a lot of adventures. Your whole house could fit, like, in my living room. I know. And it's for you 400 so more space. a month. Janelle's not going to move to Utah. She's flat out not going to move to Utah. I know that. I just feel like her living situation is just really, really hard. I know it's hard for her emotionally with Cody and everything. And I've just felt so much freedom in Utah. And I love it so much. And I would really like to see her happy again. I'm just saying. I mean, I've thought about Salt Lake. Sometimes I'm like, I see that there's a lot of people I used to know there, and I don't know if that There are counts. still some people there now that you know as well. I'm just <laughs> I have an amazing relationship with Janelle. It's fantastic. And if, if we didn't figure things out and become friends and band together like we have, um, leaving would look a lot different. Janelle made an obvious, definite choice to support me. I remember her crying when we were all talking, and she's like, what am I going to do about my kids and stuff? When I first told everybody I was going to leave, and she was heartbroken. But she still was supportive, and she still was amazing, and decided to still want to do things with me and raise our kids together and be a unit together. Honestly, at the core, the people that would I would be devastated the most to lose are, are you and your kids. Yeah, I don't miss Cody. I don't really miss Robin. I don't. I haven't talked to Mary in almost a year. Like, I haven't talked to her since before Thanksgiving last year. I mean, Janelle and I, the reason she can be my sister wife is because we're the only part of our plural family that survived. Cody and Robin are living monogamy, but they just are. And Mary's not part of the equation with their family. I still have this core family unit in my mind. This is what this is. Christine's kids, my kids, the way they're so connected. I still feel like there's a core family unit here. Like, we really, truly are sister wives. From everything that's happening right now in the family with Cody and Janelle specifically right now, I feel very unsteady. And in all reality, Cody is even being different. It, I don't feel very steady even with him, but Mary and I always have had this steadiness between the two of us. And through everything that's been happening, it's like at least I could go to her and look at her in the eyes and say, we're here for each other, right? We're gonna stick this out, right? Let's not give up, okay? So my plan is to move my online clothing business up to Parowan, up to the B&B, &B, and then I will just find another smaller home to move into here in Flagstaff. I'll just be doing a lot of traveling back and forth between the two states. I mean, I'll still come back here. Yeah. Um, 
But this is where you'll live. Yes. But I'll be visiting there oftener. Oftener? Oftener. <laughs> oftener. We're still going to be here like this, like the, together, right? Like where we both believe in the possibility of getting this family fixed somehow. I'm not 100% convinced that Robin believes what my point is with moving my business up there. I'm trying to remain calm. What's going on? I just don't like change, and it's scary, and it's just another, with everything else that's going on in the family, it just feels like yet another thing. <laughs> but I also know that you're the only one who cares about it, too. I do. I mean, as long as you're really, truly going to still be here often. I'm going to have a house. I'm going to have an address. I'm going to be here. Okay. I'm going to sleep there. Okay. All right. I just will also be up there. She's very well aware of where mine and Cody's relationship sounds. So she's like, mm, are we sure? I just... I just want you around. So, always have. I know. I don't know what this future holds for her. I just, I'm grateful she's hanging on and I want her to continue to, but I feel selfish that this whole experience of being here and waiting, to see if something can happen between her and Cody has gotta be hard. I'm always torn between just looking at her and saying, Go find your happiness. And saying, please figure it out with us here. What's the dynamic um, with the family now? now? I mean, now, you, well, both. every, all the wise, was it, um, how, how did that affect that relationship? Not just your kids with. With like sister wives? Yes. Uh, there'll be some sister wives that I'm not that close to. There'll be some that I'm always going to be close to. Like, yeah, I'll always both be close to Janelle, yeah. and our kids will always be super tight. Okay. Yeah. But my relationship with Rob and my relationship with Mary isn't getting any better. It's not going to change. It's like any family. Yeah. And so um, just some, Janelle and I are always going to get along. We, and I think now we look at ourselves, we'll just always be sister wives. Yeah. Always. Sure. You know? Always. No, yeah, in fact, it's easier in a way. Oh, no. gosh. Yeah. yeah. So. When it's easy, that's what you're more drawn to. I've had relationships like that with different people in my family. Christine and I have had that relationship before. Hi. Hi. Cody and I have had that relationship. Robin and I have had that relationship. Janelle and I have not had the laughter kind of relationship. I mean, we, we have laughed, but it's not been that close bond. Like, I've had those kinds of relationships in my family, and I wish that I had them now, but I just don't. I was constantly uh, holding out an olive branch to Christine, constantly wanting the relationship, constantly, like, trying to ask her, what can I do? And all she ever told me was, I'm just jealous of you. There's so many times where, where Christy and I have had so much fun, and I feel like we really did have the potential of just having a great relationship. And I just never understood why we couldn't. And I just don't know how to come to terms with the heartbreak of it. Is it just jealousy? I don't know. If it is, I don't know it. And I would I would love to know what it was. So in Vegas, we all did counseling sessions together, all the adults. And the therapy sessions, I was very direct. And I said specifically, the problem is, is that he prefers Robin and prefers being in Robin's house more than anywhere else. She would just deny it. And she'd just be like, he's not here. And he'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm over at your house equally. And it's like, no, you're not. No, you're not. If it bothered her that she didn't have a relationship with me, she should have said, hey, why don't we have a relationship? Can we be friends? But I want you to know, I would have rejected her friendship anyway, to be completely honest with you. 
If Robin approached me and wanted to be friends, I would have not been friends still because I couldn't trust her. One of the things Cody was really mad at me about, he, he said that I wasn't a good sister wife. I think he's only talking what about the, one person. I'm sorry, but that's I'm the not, reality. But th the thing is, I'm not not close with Robin. I, I'm not, I'm not close with her. If I'm not this, close with her. That's, but. that's the hardest thing to overcome is this whole idea that somehow she's been a victim. And I don't know if it would ever be overcomable. I don't consider myself a victim. And I actually won't allow myself to indulge in that thought process because I don't like that. Um, it's like, pick yourself up, make it happen, be strong, deal with your problems. You and I no. were blood, you know, we were in the mud together with we the kids. Were. In the, we raised the kids, they were the same age. She always wanted to have a separate child care for her kids. Yeah. And, and that's okay. Yeah. And it's okay, but it just didn't give us the opportunity. I think I could have done better as a sister wife. Sure, sure, absolutely. But I think I did a lot of things that were great as a sister wife. To me, being a sister wife means someone that is there to help you with your kids. When she decided to get a nanny, it really was a line. It really was a line in the sand. Cody really gauged everything by the way that Robin perceived the relationships or that Cody perceived how we were with Robin, how you treat Robin is how, if you're a good sister wife or not. But Robin plays this really weird card where she forgets or she doesn't know why, and that's a typical MO for her. I can't even bring anything up with Cody about Robin because she's perfect, she's supportive, she's the only one who's been loyal. Like, he just shuts it down. There's no communication. Because as Cody likes to say, Robin's done nothing wrong. She's the sweetest person that's ever come into the family and she's given everything to us. So anything that you say to her that's cross is abusive. Sorry, it's not real world. I didn't really have big issues with my sister wives. I wanted relationships with them and that was a hard thing for me, but that's it. There was really not a lot to sit there and actually process through with Cody. This whole story about that I turned him against them is ridiculous and bogus. They're just not dealing with their own issues. They need to stop talking about me. It does not surprise me at all that Christine has complaints about me or complaints about Janelle or complaints about Cody or Robin. I get it. I have had complaints about every single one of them. Like, this is just what happens in a family, unless you're 100% perfect, and I don't know anybody who is.